Hey Borderliners, hello there, my name is Yuri and I have Borderline Personality Disorder and Bipolar Disorder of First Type. So today I wanna speak about what thing that could make your life a bit more happier. Interesting in hearing my proposal, just continue to watch. Today I wanna speak about practice of gratefulness. You know, to be grateful for, I just heard about it so many times, I seen so many ролиks on YouTube about it, and just I thought it's like so easy for you to be grateful for, and I'm just staying in such a deep depression, everything is black, and it's just even difficult for me to get up and brush my teeth. What should I be grateful for? You know, and I decided to make a challenge for myself to find something, at least several things, what I'm grateful for. On the first day of that challenge, you know, my son come to me and said like, Dada, Dada, and I understand I'm so grateful that I have son. I have so amazing, so lovely, so sweet son. You know, many peers of mine, they stand without kids. It's actually their choice, they could have kids or not have, but anyway, I'm so grateful to the God, you know, to all the gods that I have this baby i'm so happy with him you know and i really grateful to all the universe for my son then you know my dog came to me and started to lick me and said that he wanna walk and wow i just realized that i have at least one friend one friend who not gonna leave me even in the days of my really black depression you know at least i could count on my dog he never gonna leave and he loves me and i love him back so there are one more thing to be grateful for then we uh, take a walk outside and i spotted uh, the bunch of drinkers you know we are sitting uh, in the yard and drinking and one of them was all consciousness blackout you know he was lying like uh, and saying, wow, it's so nice that I'm not on his place code, it could be easily me. Then I just get it in my mind that one acquaintance of mine, you know, he overdosed and now he's dead. Passed away and his relative is so sorrow and so, and I could be in his place like it. Then during our walk, I spotted one homeless man, he just uh, asking for some coins, I give him several coins and i understand that on his place it's also could be me i just know that it's so complicated and difficult in some day to find what you're grateful for but at least try to do it and i bet then in like one week several or so your mood go sky rocket the gratefulness practice it's not about to be grateful for other people suffering from something it's about to find something to be grateful for small things you have there are always stuff to be grateful for so, at least gratitude practice in my daily routine now in the morning uh, when i just take a contour shower doing exercises meditation i just always open my diary and list some things i grateful for today and as i said even in days of my deep depression i know that it's not so desperate that i thought it was before when i get up because i just see some things i'm grateful for and it's amazing so i'm so grateful for you that you're just watching this video and i'll be grateful for you even more if you just make this and, this. and also i'll be super more grateful for you if you just listen comments below what you're grateful for in this life so just try this simple trick and i bet that your life gonna be a bit more happier see ya Hey Borderliners, hello there, my name is Yuri. Uh, yes, so cool. Hey Bold Bord Bold Bold Bord 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 Blah blah blah. Hey Borderliners, hello there. <coughs> hey Borderline Border. Hey. Even in, you know, the days of my so dis. And it's such a disaster. Easy. Easy. Then we. You know, 